Father, at this time, also, Lord, we like to take time out, Lord, and ask you to strengthen the bereaved family, Lord, that they lost their loved one, Lord, as a change, a look at the change has been taken away, Lord, let them bond together, Lord, let them come together as one. Father, Jesus, all the best, and at your son, Jesus' name, amen. 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 The uh, Captain Steen's right here. He, he's had a, an event for week. He had his first child born, and then his father-in-law died. So he's had a tough time. And uh, Mr. Haynes' uh, father-in-law also passed away today or yesterday. And so our prayers are with you guys. We've had a lot of that lately, and uh, we will make it through it. Okay, we had a work session this afternoon. Uh, the council talked about economic development, recreation, and other things. The media was there, and. Uh, Appreciate council for coming and doing that. It's uh, time away from uh, from your schedules and those of us who still work. <laughs> you know what I mean? that, to me? <laughs> that means I'm envious of being able to retire. <laughs> anyway, I shouldn't give you a hard time. I hope you make it there one day. So I appreciate you guys doing that. I think it's good to do that once a year. And we had some good uh, reports from staff and I uh, hope we move forward. All that being said, our first item tonight is approval of the agenda, and uh, I don't know of any changes or anything. Okay, we won't, we won't be taking action there. there um, I move we approve the agenda as printed. Second, okay. second by Ms. Plato. All in favor, raise your right hand. It's unanimous. Thank y'all. Good with the agenda. Um, next, we have two public hearings, and I'll call. First one, which is or both of them, which ordinance 733, an ordinance to postpone the implementation of revised values resulting from the equalization program, which is reassessment. And I ask Mr. Haynes to give us a little bit of information on that. Mr. Chairman, this is an ordinance to be required to uh, authorize the tax office, the tax assessor's office, to postpone the reassessment or revaluation for one year. It basically puts it or keeps it in line with our previous. Okay. Any input from council? Anybody on uh, in the public have anything to say? Okay, we'll close that public hearing and move on to the next one, which is Ordinance 734, an ordinance to provide for the renewal of the lease of certain property by the county for Solid Waste Convenience Center in Wallace, South Carolina. I believe this is our most recent convenience center, Mr. Haynes. Chairman, uh, this is a lease of property owned by uh, PDI and Fuel, or a portion of their piece of property. It serves as a convenience site uh, for the county, and since it's uh, having to do with land, we're required to pass it in the form of an ordinance. Uh, we're asking to renew this, uh, renew this lease. Is there any uh, comments from the, uh, from the public or from council? Okay, that sounds like it's been a pretty successful uh, site there, so we're glad to. Okay, well, hearing no uh, comments, I'll uh, close the public hearing and move on to the approval of minutes for the January 13th, 2015 meeting. Are there any changes, additions, corrections to the minutes as presented? Mr. Chair, I move we accept the minutes as printed. I second. Second by Mr. Woods. All in favor, raise your right hand. Unanimous. Moving along quickly to old business, we have Ordinance 733, which is the um, ordinance we discussed in the public hearing to postpone the implementation of the reassessment. This is the third and final reading. Um, it's been explained by staff. Or any questions of staff before we do the final approval? We need to hear any more information. Okay, hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to pass the third reading. Somebody so moved, Mr. Woods. Thank you, by Ms. Plato. Any other discussion or questions? Hearing none, uh, all in favor, raise your right hand. It's unanimous. Next is Ordinance 734, which is again the same, uh, the other one in the public hearing to renew the lease of the convenience center site in Wallace. And this is the second reading, so there is another reading. Are there any questions or any additional information needed? A motion by Mr. Allen and seconded by Mr. Gladden. Is there any other uh, discussion? All in favor, raise your right hand. It's unanimous. Next up is new business, resolution 021501, which is a resolution supporting local health care. We, uh, this was added to the agenda to show support for the, uh, the hospital. As you may know, um, we stand a good chance of losing Marlboro Park Hospital and we wanted to 
um, council to show support for retaining that facility with the new owner or, um, or whoever that can, can keep it going. And I'll read the resolution, it's not very long. It says, whereas the uh, availability of local health care options is important to the well-being of our citizens and whereas a community hospital provides not only health care but a large number of jobs for our county both at the hospital and for related services such as ambulance transport services which provides a significant direct impact on the economy of our county and whereas the recruitment of industry and new residents into our county will be negatively impacted by the loss of a local hospital whereas Marlboro County Council supports the efforts to retain a local hospital. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Marlboro County Council expresses its concern at the potential loss of Marlboro Park Hospital and supports the facilities, uh, the effort, excuse me, supports the efforts to either retain the hospital or seek a suitable tenant for the existing hospital facility or other alternative providing the same level of local health care for our citizens. So with that being said, do I hear a motion we approve the resolution? Um, before I make this motion, I'd like to inform council and the chair that I've been invited to attend that meeting on the 12th at 6 o'clock. I will be there for information only, not making any commitments on behalf of the county. Yeah, I think if some other people get invited. Yeah, invited I, I will not be able to go, but yeah, I think we're, okay. we're all in the same place with it. Okay. All right. And hopefully there'll be some good news at that. Okay. We'll see. I move that we approve this resolution in support of local health care. Thank you, my Mr. <coughs> Allen. All in favor, raise your right hand. It's unanimous. Next up, we have appointments to boards and commissions. Does anyone have any appointments? I'd like to uh, uh, nominate Ms. Ashley Taylor for the library board for District 3. And I make that as a motion. Is there a second? Mm -hmm. Mr. Allen. Seconded by Mr. Allen. Um, all in favor, raise your right hand. Yeah. I, I'm as guilty as anyone of having vacancies on the board. I think it's a good thing to have a corporate staff that gives a list of the board members that the board has to have to have a list of the board members that the board has to have a list of the board members that the board has to have a list of the board members that the board has to have
this would be through the month of January. So folks who hit those service markers by the end of January are showing up on this list. But before I read it, I wanted to tell you that today is uh, Sidney Wallace's anniversary of 40 years. Now he won't be on the list because he'll show up next month through the end of February. But if you see him, uh, be sure to say something about that. But he's 40 years with the county. We talked about it a little bit this morning. He has some memories that I'm sure he can't share with us <laughs> about things that took place 40 years ago or 35 years ago or whatever. But anyway, it's, uh, I think he had a, and he had a birthday yesterday as well. So he must have been just legal enough to hire the next day. Um, through the month of January, Councilman Steve Blackman has eight years with the county. Timothy Brown, 30 years. Shirley Dunsford, 14 years. Uh, Councilman Willie Gladden, 6 years. Sheriff Fred Knight, 10 years. Judge Ronald McDonald, 22 years. Grover McQueen, 12 years. Councilman Munnell, Captain Munnell, 6 years. Nikki Pruitt, 6 years. Melissa Skipper, 20 years. Kevin Treadway, 8 years. Councilman Anthony Wood, 8 years. Charles Lemon, 10 years. Congratulations, Charles. Chief. He walked out. Um, uh, Council Mullen, Corey Plato, 16 years. Kevin Thomas, 26 years. Billy Chief, 10 years. And of course, there's Sidney Wallace with 40 today. And you notice I've added, we've added council members to the list. And uh, I thought it, it, at least you, you guys work at least enough to be recognized, and I certainly appreciate that. This is through January. And I don't know that we're, we're working off of the list, so I'm not sure <laughs> if we've left somebody off. Uh,
again, we have different things we talked about at the work session and, and things going on that, that we share with the uh, with the schools. And there'll be a good chance to sit, sit and talk about those items. And we're now uh, working, we've sent a letter to Max and a, a phone call and an email, I think, uh, working with the city folks trying to get a meeting with them, say the following Monday or the two Mondays after that when the restaurant is available to meet the city council and possibly at that time have some presentation from the uh, new chamber of commerce to ex explain what uh, what their pro what they're doing and what their proposals are and what their plans for the future would be. Um, uh, another reminder: time to file those economic interest statements, and they they have to be in by uh, March 30th, at 12 noon. So you, I think, in front of you have the form, but you do it on you do the actual work online. We have been able, with the help of Mr. Patterson, uh, who does the filming, or in charge of in charge of the filming, these young fellows do the filming. Uh, has worked with Patricia and has been able to upload our previous meetings online on YouTube. So someone looking for the meetings can uh, can Google or just search for uh, Marlboro County uh, Council, and you'll up will pop us, <laughs> and uh, you can review the meetings there. Yeah, any questions, Council? Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. We have uh, one person signed up to speak uh, before council. That's Mr. Uh, James Woods Johnson. Is he here? No. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the one we have here. Uh, we move on to the recognition of the council members. Mr. Woods, do you have any No, I don't. Okay. No. Okay. Thank you. Mr. It won't take a minute, though. And in fact, this letter needs to go Monday, Congressman Tom Wright was in the office of me that he had down at the library. And it was good. It was a decent turnout. It was a pretty good turnout. Um, what I found is that he really seemed to be trying to reach out to the county to uh, find out what our needs is and what he can do to help us, right? Um, and whenever I see a man come, comes from anybody that comes and say, tell me what I can do, tell me what you need, you know, um, I think what we need to do is reach back out to him. We need to let him know the things that's, that we need. Uh, Dr. Tiller was there from the school board, and she had a quite a list of different things that we need. And, and they, they had a good conversation back and forth about it. So I, I think this is something that the county needs to do also, is reach out to our, our, our congressman and see, um, see how he can help us, because he seems like he's really willing to do it, right? Um, if it was a good meeting, one of the things that came out to me was things that I need in my district, which I'm proud to talk about. Um, and I talked about some things that um, I want to do up there, and I ended up leaving that idea with uh, a donation that a check for trying to help me with the park up there. And, and so that, that was great. So I'm saying if we reach out to people and let them know what we need in return, they will try to help us with our needs, right? Um, I'm going to do a public thing later on with different people that's trying to reach out to me, so I won't give a name right now for that reason. I want to sort of put it all together when I do this here. But I think we need to start looking out, looking at reaching in different places to do this Also, whenever someone like the congressman, someone comes into town, um, I think we as council members, we should try to make more of them settings, let them know that we really appreciate them coming to us. I think that's important regardless of where they come from. You know, I the next thing, which is real quick, back to the veterans, and you all know how I feel about that. Um, they've been eight months since there's been an appointment to position for the veterans to be. Everything about that is wrong. There's no difference in what's about that. We also have um, Mr. Wallace, Roosevelt Wallace, which is a commander of Purple Hawks, right? And he's still trying to get some things that in the county. I talked with a couple of veterans, and there's a couple of them back there now that we're going to try to set up a meeting with him and some other people to 
to see what we can do about helping the veterans here. Trying to get a vehicle. One thing is very important is get a vehicle for them to take back and forth to go back and forth to hospitals that they need. Some go to Columbia, some go to Fayetteville, they go all different places, right? This is something that's very important. This is not causing the county any money at all. This is coming from them. Um, I would like to get support from the county as far as getting letters out to different places where it needs to go. Phone calls to be made. Uh, phone calls to be made to our senator's house representative, which I, the house representative seems like she's working with us, and that's real good. Um, but we need to do this here. We need to. We've got 2,003 veterans, veterans in, in Baltimore County, and um, they need help. And we need to help them. That's our responsibility. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. We need to work on getting this here. But we've got to work on getting this position filled. There's no reason why a veteran have to go to Hodgeville to be interviewed for a job in Marlboro County. That has never happened in the history of Marlboro County. That needs to stop. Marlboro County can take care of Marlboro County. They don't need to go to Hodgeville to get Okay. Well, thank, thank you for all your comments. And thank you again, everyone, for uh, coming to the workshop this afternoon. I think we've got a lot done. Uh, there will be some action items coming out of that, and we'll, uh, we'll follow up and have some meetings later on with that. So, with that, if you have any other business, I'll uh, ask for a motion that we adjourn. Glad to be here by Mr. Blackman. All in favor of the drive. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.